As Jacksonville struggles with what to do with the Confederate monument in Springfield, some want a Confederate monument in Jacksonville to be removed. City commissioners have said different things about why they want it to be removed. I'm sorry, to stay or to be removed. There is such a dis dis debate and discussion about this. But do you know the history of it? Well, here's a look at what really this monument is about. The Confederate monument in Springfield. It's it's a little different um, than most. Is currently under a tarp, but in 1915, 50 years after the Civil War, a crowd of thousands came to see it for the first time in what is now Springfield Park. And Springfield was at the time one of the leading residential sectors of the city. At the time, Jacksonville was the uh, largest city in the state of Florida. It was significant economically, politically, culturally. Segregation was legal in 1915 and lynchings of black people took place in Florida. The monument was behind Confederate flags until it was unveiled. With a woman and two children at the center of the monument, it was a tribute to the women of the Southern Confederacy. The United Daughters of the Confederacy had put up many monuments in the South, but not this one. In fact, they didn't really support putting money into it, even though it was for women. They didn't really want a monument that they would rather have them uh, donate the money to scholarships for women. The United Confederate Veterans put this one up, but the state paid for more than half of it. Some historians believe the monument's message reinforced the ideals the South fought for, such as slavery. But other historians say it's to honor the people of the Confederacy. So this monument is to honor the women of the South, mm -hmm. but it sounds like only the white women of the South. Oh, well. Of course, yes. A poem read at the unveiling in 1915 made it clear it was not to honor all women in the South. She is making reference to the women who stayed home and cared for hearth and home and children while the men in gray marched away. This does not appear to be a reference to the enslaved women of the South or free women of color or anyone else. It's a reference to the women who supported the soldiers who served in the Confederate Army. And now the monument sits covered up with its meaning and its value in question.